Hey guys, welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial and this time around we're going to be talking about the distance node within Expresso and just as its name would suggest the distance node deals with distance values and we're going to be using those values out of the distance node to change the color of this sphere here in the middle which is the changer sphere and we're going to be changing its color values depending on the distance of the initiator sphere so I have these two spheres and I have just a very basic keyframe animation here and what's happening is the initiator sphere is moving back and forth creating some distance and then closing that gap and then going right up next to the changer sphere so what I want to do is I want to create a color or material that's going to be applied to this changer sphere and I want it to change from one color to another depending on the value or the distance of this initiator sphere so I'm going to create a material and for the color channel I'm going to take the RGB values up all the way to their maximum of 255 so let's take this and drag it over to the changer sphere and what I want to do now is I'm just going to right click on the initiator and we want to go to Expresso tag this opens up the Expresso editor and what I want to do now is drag in both of these spheres and for both of them I want to go to coordinates global position and the same for this one as well and then we want to bring in a distance node so we want to right click and go new node Expresso calculate distance and the distance node has two inputs and basically what's happening here is you're taking input one and input two and it's calculating the distance between these two objects and then it's outputting that value so if we have the first changer sphere here connected and we connect the second initiator sphere this is going to be outputting the distance value between the two of them so of course we can't see anything like that right now so what we need to do is create a result node so we'll go to Expresso general result and the result node does exactly what its name says gives you the result of an output value so we'll connect this from the distance node to the result and of course there is nothing there at the moment so we need to just go refresh the viewport here just by uh, you can do this by moving around or just by moving the timeline so we'll go back to the Expresso editor and now we have a value of 1500 so that means there is a value of 1500 as far as the distance goes between these two spheres okay so we can disconnect that now we don't need that at the moment so what we want to do now is pipe this value into our material because that's the whole point of this is that we want to change the color so let's grab the material and drag it into the Expresso editor and we want to go to color color and what it's doing is giving us four options here the first option color this one here this one is going to be for all RGB values at the same time so that means all of the sliders here on the controller uh, for the uh, the color channel here these RGB sliders are all going to move at the same time and they're all going to have the same value and you may or may not want that so there's also an option here for the color to go with separate RGB channels so I'm just going to pick the red channel for right now and of course now we've run into a little bit of a problem and the problem is that this distance node is outputting currently a value of 1500 but if you notice these color sliders here for these RGB values don't go to 1500 even if we try to force them they won't go any higher than 255 so these values are only between 0 and 255 and if we pipe this value into our color material that's not going to work so what we want to do is convert some values and we want to convert the distance value coming out of the distance node so it can be recognized in a different value by the color channel or by this material so in order to do that we need a range mapper so we'll go to Expresso calculate range mapper and the range mapper can be used for a whole lot of different things but in this case it's going to be used to convert values for us so what I'm going to do is just hook up the output here from the distance into the input for the range mapper 
And if we go over to the parameter tab, you can see here that we have four different values. We have the input lower and upper and the output lower and upper. Now in this case, these values here for the input lower and upper are going to be the distance values between these two spheres. So a value of zero is going to be when the two spheres are closest together and the input upper is going to be the maximum distance uh, that's going to trigger the change for the color. So in this case we know that the maximum distance is 1500. So I'm going to type in a value here of 1500 for the input upper. Now depending on what you're using your value may not be 1500 but just keep in mind that this input upper value here is the distance value that's going to trigger the color change. So anything higher in this case anything higher than 1500 and the color is going to remain the same. It's not going to change but as soon as this value hits 1500 or lower all the way down to zero then the color is going to start to change. So this is the maximum uh, point or the maximum distance uh, that's going to trigger the result which is the color change. Okay, so uh, we have the output lower and the output upper and this deals with the color values. Now you might be thinking well all we need to do is just change this up uh, this output upper to 255. Well, you know you could and we could go up here and we could change the output range to percent but another way to do this is just use 0 to 1 because this color channel will receive values of 0 and 1 and anything in between. So for example, a value of 0 coming out of the range mapper would be 0 for this red channel. And if we go to the range mapper and we have a value for the output upper of 1, then that's going to be all the way up at 255. So this is a value of 1 and down here at the bottom of the slider would be a value of 0. So of course if you wanted something directly in the middle that would be a value of 128 then that would be over here on the output upper that would be a value of 0.5 because 0.5 is the halfway point between 0 and 1. So hopefully you're kind of getting the idea of where I'm going with this. So we could just leave this at 0 and 1 because that's going to take our color from 0 to 255. So now we can connect this up to the R channel. Go back to the view. And now our changer sphere should start to change. And in this case, since we're taking all the red, we're pulling all the red values out of this, this is more than likely going to be a light sky blue color. So I'll hit play. And sure enough, there we go. So now we have set up some Espresso using the distance node to control the color based upon the distance of the initiator sphere moving in and out uh, from the changer sphere. So what if you wanted to do more than just the red channel? What if you wanted to control the other ones as well? Well, it's just as simple and easy as taking the range mapper and making two extra copies of it. One will be for the R, one will be for the G, one, for one and the third one will be for the blue, or B. So we'll go to color, green, color, blue. So I'll connect these up from the distance node. And now I'll just connect these to the green here and the blue. So now we can use these uh, three range mappers to control how we want our sliders or what position we want our sliders to be at. So for this one, I'm going to keep it at a value of 0 and 1. The middle one, I think I'd rather just keep the middle one at a value of 0.5 just to stay right in the center. So I'm just going to disconnect that because we really aren't going to have any change. So what we could do is manually just set this the green channel at 128 because it's not going to be moving it's going to be stationary and then of course the blue channel I just want to reverse these values so a value of 1 and a value of 0 like that so now when we go back up here to view we hit play we should get an orange to a blue so there is our 
uh, gradual color changing depending on the uh, distance of the object which in this case is the initiator now of course like I said you don't have to use spheres you can use whatever object that you want to and uh, I guess that about wraps this up so hopefully this tutorial has helped you uh, kind of get a basic understanding of how the distance node works and how to use it so uh, thanks for watching guys